Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Molly Malloy and I am a fifth grade teacher in Southern California. You can also follow me over on Instagram at Lessons with Laughter. Today is kind of a weird feeling day um, because I am heading back into my classroom. Our district, like many of yours, I'm sure, is starting to try to figure out what next year, or I guess this year, is going to look like. Um, it's still up in the air. Things are not finalized yet. However, we were told to go into our classrooms and kind of tag furniture, color code furniture, that because they're going to have to remove some of the furniture in our classroom to make room for student desks to be six feet apart. Our class sizes in our district are typically like 34, 35 students for upper elementary. However, they are reducing our class sizes next year. So we'll have 25 students in our class. They said that they measured it out and we should be able to fit that many desks six feet apart. They have finished deep cleaning our classroom, so I am just going to go in, check it out, and kind of play around with the furniture and see what will fit. So I'm going to go in, move my desk around, kind of see what the arrangement is going to look like with desks spaced apart six feet. They also want us to label our furniture because they are going to be coming in and removing excess furniture that does not fit. So I will take you along with me for that and we'll see how it goes. Here is what my classroom looks like right now to start off with. Everything was deep cleaned and so all my stuff is in the middle of the room. So I already know some of the things that I am for sure going to have to get moved out of my classroom into storage. This bench right here, it's I use it as a bench. I know it's upright right now, but that's gonna have to go. My super cool bench slash table back there is going to have to go. And then I don't really know what else. So my plan today is to just start laying desks out and see, this is our screen that pulled down. So I actually don't even know if all my students are going to be able to see the screen, especially if their desks are <laughs> like walking backwards, especially if their desks are like over here. This is usually obviously our classroom library area. So I don't know. I just don't know is probably what I will be saying a lot today, but I'm gonna see, start kind of laying things out and see what it looks like. Also, I completely forgot my measuring tape. I probably have some type of measuring tape back behind my cupboards, but I don't think it will be long enough, but I am 5'10", and so I think my arm length is probably about six feet, five, ten, six feet. So that's what I'm going to use to measure today. I know it's not super official, but I'm hoping it will at least like give me some kind of idea of what desks will be like six feet apart. I am six desks in and holy moly six feet is a lot further apart than I thought it would be so I really don't think I can do much more until I get rid of this or like clear out some of that furniture in the middle of it um so I guess what I'm going to do is start clearing some of that out and then go from there
right, I just had a chat with our director of facilities, maintenance, operations, and like all this whole desk situation. He was actually on campus, so I had him come to my classroom and just help me out with some stuff. Um, so I realized I'd been measuring desks six feet apart from like the edge of the desk, and I guess it's from the center of the chair. So that means that I can actually fit four desks across the front. I'm going to have them right up against my library because my plan is that my students will not be accessing my library. I will just be getting out like book stacks and stuff for them and more on that later. But anyway, so we'll see, but I'm glad I got to talk to him and figure that out. So now I'm going to try to work around the rest of the desk. I really just want to set up my desk just so I can see what it's going to look like and I can kind of get a handle on it. And then some of the furniture is leaving. So I have furniture, um, like obviously our small group table, that bench is moving. Those are all the extra chairs. And then the rest of our furniture, we're just putting in our side room for now. This is where students usually film the student newscast with the green screen. And there's usually like a table. We already started shoving furniture back in there. Um, but yeah, so I'm trying to move some of the furniture back there for now just so I can kind of get an idea of my classroom and what it will look like but they'll take away all that furniture stuff to store so uh, we'll see I'll put the camera down and move around some of the desks some more and we'll see what it looks like okay so I wanted more exact measurement so I got two I found two meter sticks um but I'm holding them together and overlapping the um extra inches so that way it is six feet and I feel like this is probably a better way to do it than just measuring with my arm span so here we go back to moving around desks <laughs> Okay, so little update with my desk spaced six feet apart from like the center of each seat to the center of the next seat. I can fit 18 desks and I need to be able to fit 25. So I was getting ready to try it again with five feet apart instead of six feet. And I started getting a bunch of text messages from teacher friends that LA Unified and San Diego Unified are going to be entirely online in the fall. I am not in either one of those districts. However, since those districts are so huge in Southern California, they set the precedent for a lot of smaller district decisions. So it will be really interesting to see if that influences my district or what's gonna happen. Like I said at the beginning of this video, I really have no clue. I'm just trying to mentally prepare for whatever the option will be. Um, so I don't have very much time left in my classroom. I only have 45 minutes left until I have to leave. I think I'm going to start labeling which furniture I want to stay versus which furniture it's okay if it is stored. They asked us to use three different colors of paper or whatever we have to label our furniture. Green means that it's free to go and be packed up. Yellow means we would like it to stay, but if they need to store it, then that would be okay. And then red is things that are like essential. We need it for teaching that we for sure want to stay. So 
I'm not like doing anything super fancy for this. I literally just grabbed construction paper and I'm just gonna like tear off strips and tape it with tape. So that's my plan for right now. And I'm gonna get started with that. Okay, so if we really are going to be back in our classrooms in the fall, this is what my room will look like. Not all that stuff in the back is all going minus there will be like a desk kind of next to the door. There's a desk right there and then there's going to be a desk right there. Those two things will probably go. It's like so weird. Um, so the desks are, they could not, I think I told you with six feet apart, they could only, I could only fit 18. When I moved it to five feet apart, I think I could fit like an extra desk in every row. And so now I've got 25 desks in here. However, these desks back here are probably only, these rows are probably only about four, four and a half feet apart from seat to seat. And then... <laughs> like these kiddos I mean so obviously that's not really going to work we'll have to move some of the rows forward um, and then the front area my stage so I put yellow um, I mean they can take it but if they take it like the desk you can see the desk really can't go too much closer to the projector screen if we are expecting kids to see it which I hope we are um, so if they take my stage, that's fine. But if not, I mean, like I said, I don't, space-wise, I don't think it matters. I don't think we'll move the desk up any closer. Um, this is the other part that I'm not quite sure about is that student sitting there and then my desk. Um, I might be able to move it back a little bit more towards the wall to make space, but then there's also like that doorway there. So I haven't measured. I mean, my desk is pretty much blocking the doorway, so. Um, I don't know. So weird and so crazy to think about, but this is how my room may potentially look next year, I guess. Thank you so much for watching my video today. I know it's like kind of a different feeling one. Um, I love making videos that are like happy and inspirational, but this is kind of the reality of next year potentially or i guess this year is a fall for a lot of us hopefully just seeing how this process worked for me um, was helpful for you or <laughs> informational for you or whatever it was like i said i know things are still changing all the time my district has not officially released their plan yet so i know there's still some things that could change with that but they had asked us to come in and complete this step so I did. If you are new here, please check out some of my other videos. They are a little bit more uplifting and hopefully leave you with a smile on your face. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>